Hello everyone, here is a video on how to factory reset these TP-Link AV600 spec uh, model number TL-WPA4220 uh, power line Wi-Fi extenders. So in this example I've got this set to a Wi-Fi name that I uh, don't know the password to and I need to factory reset it so I can then log into it to configure it how I want. Or to put it back to the defaults which are on the label on the top which tells you the wireless name and the default password. So you need a paper clip or something very similar and on the underside of the device closest to the wall and behind the uh, pair button is a recessed reset button here. So what I'm going to do is show you how long I'm going to press it and what the lights do on the front of the device. So I'm going to press the reset button and hold it now. And the light here for the home network has gone out. I'm now going to let go of the reset button. Now these ones take a little bit of time to boot up. Quite surprisingly warm and that's only been plugged in for a very short amount of time. So it's now showing as broadcasting wireless and should be visible on my phone. Second from bottom there is now broadcasting its default name. What also seems to have happened is the setup of this must have had a custom uh, community name, I think they call it, or a home network name for its power line. So we've actually lost power line connectivity here between this thing and its uh, remote injector. So if I just quickly show you here, plugged in there is the, the other pair, the other end of it. Um, so what I need to do is press the pair button on the remote end, which I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So I think you need to press it for about two seconds. So I'm gonna hold it down now and then let go now and that light is flashing going back to the Wi-Fi end of the link I'm going to hold down the pair button for a similar amount of time and let go so I'm going to press it now and let go now and the power light also flashes on this and hopefully yeah the home network power line link is flashing and then should go solid on both of them so that's gone solid on this one over here it's broadcasting Wi-Fi in its default name, which is on the sticker on the top. And the original uh, injector that we had over here, that light for the home network has also come back on. I haven't got it plugged into my network, so this final one here for the uh, the socket on the underside isn't lit. But that's, uh, that's expected for the way that I'm doing this test. So there we go. That is how you factory reset and then repair this TP-Link Powerline Networking TL-WPA4220 uh, device. Hopefully the video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thanks.